we're trying to think through how can we democratize data access so that we can have, especially industry, develop on top of government data to support a wide variety of users for their specific applications. Um, because that's what scale is going to look like when we're actually able to find, match users up to developers and government data is ready and available um, for that kind of development. With AI, even, even more than software, where software you think of continuous updates and iteration, AI is even more so. I mean, we want the user inside of the system that has artificial mm -hmm. intelligence to be constantly correcting and guiding the system yeah. in terms of feedback. So the Global Information Dominance Experiment, or GUIDE, series was something Northcom created um, to really test data and analytics in support of decision making. Mm -hmm. um, they ran about four different GUIDE experiments, about one every 90 days, so very quick and iterative, um, with industry bringing new capability at each increment uh, to see if it helped with their workflows. Um, yeah. And so we've picked up that exercise or experiment inside of CDAO, uh, starting with GUIDE 5, which we uh, did at the beginning of February of this year, and GUIDE 6 which is just in its last uh, week or two of experiment right now. The traditional government path of a, a 20 or 30 year career is not really uh, what we're looking for inside mm -hmm. of CDAO or inside the digital workforce and the department in general. Um, because this, this uh, field changes so quickly, because um, it really benefits from a combination of both government and industry experience inside the government, mm -hmm. we want rotation in and out.